don't know if you saw this story, Jeremy, but basically Ron DeSantis tried to take away Disney World's rights of self-governance since they're pushing all the child grooming stuff lately. And Disney World came back and was like, uh, 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 not so fast. We only answer to the crown. And this is just almost hilarious if you know what's going on because they would never ever admit this unless they were forced to in a situation like this. But they basically admitted like, you don't have jurisdiction over us because we're owned by Britain. <laughs> so for those of you who are like confused by this, apparently the land that Disney World is on is owned by the crown. And so since like 1960, Disney World has basically been a tax-free sovereign district you know, exempt from taxes and anything to do with federal statutes. And they basically claim to just be like an apolitical charity. You know, Disney does a lot of charity work so that they can be tax exempt. Then they started pushing all this woke stuff. And so Ron DeSantis was like, all right, guys, you want to get involved in politics? Then let's do politics. We're going to take away your tax exempt status in Florida. But then Disney World came back and pulled out this clause from the British Bill of Rights, which is a royal clause that dates back to like 1692. And it says that essentially Britain has sovereignty over any territory of the crown until the last descendant of King Charles III has passed. And that's the clause Disney World used to keep their tax exempt status in Florida. And if you know anything about history, then you know that this clause comes from the Magna Carta which is like the English Bill of Rights. So most people reading this article are probably like, wait, how is Disney avoiding federal tax codes by using an English Bill of Rights clause? But that's because Disney World is technically a territory of the crown, just like Washington DC actually. Most of you know that Washington DC is not actually a state, but a territory, AKA a British colony. So, you know, do with that what you will. But uh, this is important for us to know that actually what we tried to escape in England, that whole system of um, sort of the feudal system of law that they were enslaving everyone under, America tried, was an attempt to escape that and create a truly free country. And so what a lot of, you know, alternative independent historians say is that England could have easily stopped this from happening, but they essentially were like, well, Let's just give them the illusion of what they want and technically we'll still control them and we'll still create the same law structure in that country as we have here.